Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a product manager at Kanji. I head our iOS efforts and I'm here to talk about Lost Mode today. So Lost Mode is technology that Apple built into iOS and iPadOS that allows you to temporarily set a device in a mode that is secured that also shares location data back to your MDM during that window, during that time window. Um, and it is built in a way where the user is aware that this is happening if they have the device near them. They see the device is locked and in lost mode, um, and that location data is uh, being shared. And what's also important to know is that uh, with lost mode, you're not dependent on any action by the user to make this possible. Whether they decided to share location information or not with an app or with the system entirely, whether they have turned on location services at all or not, does not matter. Lost mode will get information back to us and to NBM, no matter what the user has done. If the device is, uh, you know, has power and it is connected to the internet, we're getting location information back during this lost mode session. So something that a lot of customers uh, ask about oftentimes is, um, is there a way for me to track these devices that are mine as an employer, as a corporation, as a company, 24-7. Uh, can I get location information per device at any point in time? And that's not really why Lost Mode is what it is meant for. And that's also not something that Apple built into the system. The way Apple built this system is to give you access to location information when you need it, but not at all times. Um, so it is really built around the balance between IT control and privacy for the user. Since these are mobile devices that are with employees everywhere they go, 24 seven, seven days a week oftentimes, um, also means their location information is some more of a private and privacy topic than would be otherwise. Uh, so lost mode does not give you constant tracking, but also it only does so when you've set a device in lost mode. In my many years at Apple, you know, the topic of asset tracking has come up multiple times. And I met many enterprise customers that were asking about this. Um, and, and for many years, I would explain how lost mode works and what it does and doesn't do. Like it does not give you 24 seven tracking of all your assets, of all your Apple devices for the reasons that I outlined around user privacy. Um, and then there were mom there was a moment a number of years ago where customers started to meet me where I was by explaining to me that the kind of information that a 24 seven tracking solution would give them was not something they wanted to have in their systems because they felt for them, this was a liability. This was not something they were comfortable with having for all users. And I'm talking enterprise customers, but also of course, education customers. Um, you know, if you have a system that tracks devices for all staff and students, um, a number of larger school districts are not comfortable with that information being in their system at all. And I think that lines up with a lot of what the approach for Apple is on a lot, on a number of things. Um, there is no risk with user data that you don't have, right? If you don't have the information, you're not at risk of exposing it to bad actors or the wrong people, the wrong persons. So some of that was interesting to see how that shift happened in the market, where the customers were meeting us at Apple, where we were when we were talking about how Lost Mode works and how it compares to a solution that would do like 24, seven, 365 tracking. All right, let's have a look at how Lost Mode operates in Kanji. So I have this device here that the user told me was misplaced. So I'll go to the action menu right away. I'll say enable Lost Mode. Now the modal window here offers you a couple of options and they, these are all optional. Um, there's at least one of them that needs to be displayed, but I, I like to like fill all of these out cause they are, they are useful. So, you know, if I found call this number, and then you pop in your phone number. You can do extensions as well. You can do international phone numbers. We support those as well. That's not a problem. Then uh, device tracked and managed by AccuHive. 
and we'll hit enable lost mode. So what happens here is that we're reaching out to the device. While we're doing that, we immediately show you the information you entered at the bottom. So you see your message, phone number, and footnote. And know that these will show up on the device once, it's, once it receives the information and receives the command. And now you see we've received information back from the device. So this device was online. It gave us its location. And we get our location information back. So um, as you might know, a location services gives you information back in GPS coordinates. These are great, but not always very useful. So what we do is we do a reverse lookup to give you a street address that matches up to that GPS information. That's the closest information you can find or closest spot where the device was found. You can copy paste this information to your clipboard. You can open maps in full screen if you want to open Apple Maps in your browser or in the Apple Maps app. And by the way, this map is fully interactive. Uh, if you want to do like hybrid or satellite views, these are all available to you as well. You kind of zoom in to where your device was found which seems to be close to these buildings here in downtown SF. So again, fully interactive, um, well integrated as well. And uh, what we do here is that even though there's a button that says update location, uh, this information is getting updated every 15 minutes. So you don't have to be monitoring this yourself. We do it for you. So every 15 minutes, we'll run this again and we'll update location back from this device. And if we note that the device moved by more than 50 meters or about 160 feet, we will send you a global alert in Kanji to let you know that device moved. So you know to go back and check on this device. So that alert, of course, has a link to the device. So we'd be able to come back here, see where the device is at on the map, and maybe send the coordinates back to your security team or law enforcement if needed. Uh, and finally, we can also use the sound. So the lost mode sound or find my sound is available to MDM lost mode. Uh, so you can use that, especially for devices that are known to be misplaced inside the building. In this case, we know this is in our office. So we could use that to locate the device and maybe find it uh, between couch cushions uh, or in the kitchen. There's not much more to it than that. We give you everything you need right there. Um, and um, as the device gets gets found, then you can go ahead and disable lost mode, turning off the lost mode, lost mode, stopping the location tracking, and then it sets a location tracking notification on the screen of that device that lets anybody that finds it know that it was located and tracked. So here we have a phone that was lost and was misplaced, and we have our IT admin turning on lost mode on this device as we speak. Um, so if you see, uh, when you look at this device, you maybe you find it and you see, Hey, it says lost iPhone. If call, if found, call this number, phone numbers, there big read button that lets me know, Hey, I can just pick up this phone and call the number. Um, and by the way, uh, since this is an iPhone, uh, you can still tap emergency to call 911. Uh, that's required by law. Like you have to be able to use the dialer on any phone that's found. But that's all you can do with this device. You can't unlock it. You can't go through it and access any corporate data on it. Um, so that's all there is to it, right? This is a very clear message to me as somebody that finds this device. I don't have access to anything. Um, I, I can't get through this phone. Uh, I can't get through this lock screen. If I try and reboot it, that's not going to do anything. It'll come back to this screen as well. And now let's see what it looks like if we say, well, we found this device. We tell the, uh, the IT admin, so they go ahead and disable lost mode on this device. So look at the screen, disable lost mode is happening now. And you'll see that the lost mode screen goes away. And now instead we have a notification in the screen that says this iPhone was located. And it says where it sent this information at what time it did. So date and timestamp and continue. And I can get back to using this phone. So it's fully functional now. So this is Lost Mode Kanji. I hope you found this useful. I hope you find the feature useful and would love to hear from you if you use it. Thanks a lot.